Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Urban Aviary. I wanted to make a quick video tonight and show you guys something that I've been using for the last little while that I think you guys might find interesting. Um, there's a concern I've heard from a lot of you guys since I've started this channel. Um, between you guys and others on Facebook forums and um, other online places. Um, there's something that people continually are, are fearing uh, of happening and that's their incubator having issues while they're away and not knowing of it. So having dips or spikes in humidity or temperature um, from a faulty incubator or um, just from, from other conditions um, happening while, while they're away or the power going out, something like that, and then it comes back on but it's been off for six hours or something while you're gone at work. So temperatures and everything is rose has risen back up to where it's supposed to be by the time you got home and you have no idea when you get a hatch rate that's so low what happened or, or what, what went wrong. Um, so I thought, you know, there's got to be something out there where you can monitor it um, via Wi-Fi from your phone so that when you're at work you can get alerts if um, something's going wrong, if the humidity drops or spikes or temperature drops or spikes, or if, you know, there's a power outage and you lose a signal or something like that so that if something does go awry, you can get home and take care of it or have a neighbor take care of it or somebody that's at home um, take care of it or whatever. And I realized there's really not a lot out there for incubators specifically, but I did find one thing that um, I, I tested out, I bought it, used it, um, that works for that and it's this little unit right here. It's called the Temp Stick. Um, I'll put a link up here um, for you guys to check out if you want to uh, check the thing out. Um, but I used it and I found something really interesting. Not only does it monitor your um, humidity and temperature and send you alerts, you can set it up to send you alerts if it drops or spikes, you know, you can set your parameters. But I got hatching eggs ordered and something that, if you guys don't know if you've never ordered hatching eggs, the general rule is you get about 50% hatch rate. Um, depending on the weather and how far they've been shipped, how they're handled through shipping, um, they can just be rough on hatching eggs to, to be shipped through the mail. So generally, general rule is about 50%. Um, when I put this thing in and um, got, it, got it set up, I noticed that it was giving me a different temperature than my other um, thermometers and hydrometers were giving me. Um, and the other ones I bought, I bought a couple different ones to, for redundancy in my setups before and I was getting around, you know, 65%, I would say it was my average um, that, I, that I was getting um, for my hatch rates. And when I used this, I plugged it in and what my old thermometer was telling me was um, 90, it was, it was telling me was, um, let's see, this was telling me 99.5 and that was my, my other thermometer was telling me 102. So it was off by um, three, three-ish degrees. Um, and on those shipped hatching eggs, which I was expecting to get the best 50% because it was shipped in the depths of winter, um, I was expecting, you know, 40, 50% if I was lucky and I actually got 80%. And I think, I mean, part of that is getting them from a quality breeder um, that the post office treats them right. Um, but also I think just that this thing is more accurate and the fact that this thing just is, you know, is a better product than than most of the ones that come included with the incubators, even the higher end ones. Um, I think this, this did have something to do with that. Time will tell as I do more hatches if that has uh, more to do with it or not. But it was really nice to being able to get um, notifications coming in telling me if I had dips or spikes in my temperature or humidity, or if like, oh, I forgot to fill up the, the reservoir with water, so I need to go and get that topped off. So I don't have to sit there and baby it or go check on it two or three times a day or worry about it while I'm at work. Because I sell chicks to, to a, a local um, farm supply store. So I, they're, they're money to me. It's not just, uh, you know, um, uh, any little thing. I actually, you know, do it as part of what I do for a living. So this thing has really come in handy for me. And I'm looking now, if you, I'll, put a, I'll put a link to it in the um, video description if you guys want to check it out as well. Um, but this thing's so handy and I, I've been looking into it. I'm actually in the stages of, of doing something just like this. Um, and the app that goes with it, instead of just you know being able to control and monitor humidity, but actually, it will actually be um, a, an egg, um, Oh, what do you call it? It'll monitor, uh, you can set your eggs um, on the app 
you can put your egg info in and, and track a hatch, uh, track your birds, uh, track the incubator, uh, you know, all the stuff that you would want to do to keep track of your flock and your, your hatches and everything. So I'm looking at doing that and developing something like this to go along with an app like that, specifically for incubators. Um, so look for that coming in the future. But for now, if you're wanting to check this out or, or have that peace of mind, um, that better accuracy like I've, I've found, then you can still get this all, like I said, I'll put that uh, um, link to that in the, the video description down below. Um, there are other ones out there on the market like this, um, but be careful because they, some of them say Wi-Fi, but you actually have to buy additional uh, hardware to run it as Wi-Fi. This was the only one I found that is all in one unit together. You just need this and then you download the app. That's all you need, you don't need other stuff. And you do have to have a Wi-Fi signal to for it to to monitor the incubator you got to have it close enough to a wi-fi signal if you have it out in a shed or somewhere too far away from wi-fi you can get boosters you can get a wi-fi booster or something like that um but yeah i, I thought this thing was really neat and um i'm going to try and expand on that in the future and do something more specific for uh um incubator specific um situations but if you want to check this out in the meantime um and try it out you can do that i'll, I'll put a link in the video description um but yeah if uh if you guys have any questions for me about it, put a message down here in the notes. Email me at theurbanaviary at gmail.com. Um, I'm still in the you know phase of uh, messing with this and testing it out, but I, I found it really handy so far. So let me know if you have any questions on it or if you've had your own experiences with this, um, comment down in the, in the, the comments or, or let me know. And that'll be it for this video. And remember, until that next time, you guys can do this too.